Look up the YouTube video of uh just the ad libs for Bad and Bougie. It's oh like it's just the ad libs. Wait, oh. But like Safari, Firefox, or Chrome. Chrome. I use Chrome. Safari's but the Chrome. The only reason I use Safari is to download Chrome when I get a new computer. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of Offset, piped up, piped up. Offset and Cardi B recently solidified their love with an engagement to be married. Bum, bum, and if BET or VH1's Mona Scott Young have anything to do with it, the nuptials will be exchanged oh, on one of the two networks. Offset's proposal hasn't even gotten the chance to get dry yet, mm? <laughs> but both channels are already jockeying for a position to land bad and bougie affair. Yo. It's lit. So if you check Twitter, you see uh, the, uh, it looks like VH1 and BET are kind of like in a little, uh, for lack of a better wait, phrase, wait. She a missed... little argument. Yeah, so let's pull up the Twitter and uh, somebody tweeted, they said, Offset and Cardi B just got engaged on God. If they don't have a TV special for the wedding and call it Never Let Me Go, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is not about to be a thing, Yo, so though. Shay Room was like, it was a successful day taking the internet series and, this, and then this happened. So then BET was like, hashtag, we got you. When you ready, they t they pretty much mentioned Cardi B and Offset. Yeah. And then we, we like, okay, we see Mona Scott Young and she said, love you BET, but hashtag we got this, hashtag another check from Mona Scott at VH1 forever. Okay, well, so you, I, don't, I don't know. She, when, got, she got love and hip hop, just give us that one. Yo, got. so my whole thing is, wait, what? Well, Gucci's wedding was on uh, BET, right? Yeah. So do you think BET gonna lock it in? Oh for, yes, for it's gonna wedding? be a thing, the wedding series. Yo, right? I think, is but, it gonna be, wait, are they already doing a, a series of weddings? It's about like, oh, shit, wait, is BET forcing celebrities to get married so they can know. put stuff on their channel? Cause we already know I that they know. lacking content. Well, at least they, they got they, being Mary Jane, don't they? I heard that was bad. Well, I seen like oh, wait, the first wait, season. Wait, 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 wait. We not about to just talk about being Mary Jane bad. No, being Mary Jane is a, a black excellence. Really? It was on TV. I love that show. Okay. Yeah, all right. So I, I seen one episode and I was like, oh, this is like a long commercial. No, it is a beautiful show. You, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We might, we not about to let you talk no, about maybe being I was Mary watching Jane the wrong like this. Thing. Ain't no. that the booty eating the woman? What? Yeah, okay, but like, hey, right. bro, what's wrong with eating booty? <laughs> you say like, it's cool. It, listen, all right, so if you don't eat booty, right. like your grade is lower than the bedroom. It's a grading scale. Dude. Yeah, like, okay. all right, so like, so like, you know, you got a good D, whatever. That gets you around like a C, C minus. You should always have a good D. Like, then like, your, your head game good. That puts you up to like a B. Okay. B minus maybe. Okay. But you stuck at a B minus unless you eat the booty. So you get that A? That you, or more. If you eat the A, you get the A. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, like, no. like, but I mean, let's be honest here, like, what? How do we get off of uh, <laughs> Offset and Cardi B? <laughs> I mean, apparently he out here eating booty because that's what you gotta do. It was messed up though. Like There's she, something she... with the scrippers. Scri that's not the lyric. Oh yeah. <laughs> but like she break up with him, he marry her. Wait, did she break up with him? Yeah. Did her ex get out of like jail or something like that too? It's all a cover. So he pretty much trying to cuff before anything happened. Yeah, I guess so. This is my wife. My beyond. Lil Dirk should have married uh, Dave Love. I I wish them the best of luck. Uh, oh, not really Dave Love and. Yeah, I know, Migos. I'm like, talking about. Uh, you, offset. They're not all three in the yeah. Travis Porter. What type of polygamous <laughs> relationship? <laughs> hey, I mean, I, it's cool, it's nice. You know what I'm saying? Bad as Wait, it's uh, 21. Is he married? Or he is, is he... not about to marry Amber Rose. He just you never know. Like, you know he, he the only one left that's not married. He like Carmelo Anthony he and the Dayton. the only one left. <laughs> Plenty of rappers out here that's not married. That's in relationships. Oh, I don't know about that. Okay, see there you well, go. I mean, what's well, the big what's the big rapper relationship? You got Twenty One and Amber no, Rose. Oh yeah, Beyonce and Jay Z. But they all right, all right, so, all right. I forgot. About, but they so they passed. They not even just like he not even a rapper no more. He like mogul now. Okay. So you can't even count Jay Z. I mean, he in there though. But you got you got the 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 Offset man. Okay. And uh, Cardi B. You got uh, Roderick, yeah. Gucci. Oh, yeah. Radrick. Radrick. Ra right. Say his name correctly. Radrick Davis. Mr. And Davis. Then you got, uh, ain't Fut Future ain't married. See, Future no, ain't no. married nobody. He's got baby it. mamas. He's yeah, he got, he, got all the he, uh, he got all the baby mamas. You yeah. got uh, this baby mama. 
Um, can we count Russell Wilson? Even though he's, like he married he's not Sierra, a rapper. but he like he like a rapper stepdad. He like because he the stepdad to rap step to rapper. the rapper Future's no, baby not, child. He more no. of a father than Future. I mean, you could have did baby. like Lil Uzi and uh, was it Britney, but they split up. I think. Anyway, yeah. best of luck to Offset and Cardi B. Just, uh, just, I'm try, I'm hoping that the special gonna be on BET. Yeah, because I get that channel. Oh, I get VH1 too. So. How you wait? How do you get the channels? I don't get the channel. Don't we got the same internet yeah. stuff? Yeah. You need to download Cody. What? Yeah, but All I hope right. they don't like soak the fun out of marriage though. Like it's just <laughs> like, cause like marriage is a beautiful marriage thing. Marriage soaks the fun out of marriage. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have sex no more. Or you lose all your money, money and fifty percent of everything. everything. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. You but, see what happened no, like, to uh, Mary J. Blige. Uh, now he won't like he won't like thirty five thousand dollars a month or something. That is absurd. Like bro, I no, because like they make it in the show. Like they don't even years. want to get married to get married. They just want to get married. Like oh, I want to show now. But, like I mean, awesome. cause like it, the married bro, bro. I'm telling you, the married shows is the new love and hip hop. Yeah. Like, dude, getting, like, oh, we gonna get married. Oh, like, oh, it's, it's the new love and hip hop. Except you get one show, but they gonna they gonna finesse it. Where, oh, but then Gucci where, get a season. See, wait, it's a season of one day. Yeah. No, they doing a season of like the beginning of the marriage. But I mean, but like, that's still the like part honeymoon, of marriage. like the early okay. marriage stuff. But I'm honeymoon saying, is after the marriage. But as, that's what I'm saying. They shooting the after the marriage. Okay, all right. Yeah, you saying like after, like what is it like? The they day? should shoot the cloning process of Gucci. Next topic. So Usher, Laura Helm, one of the women accusing Usher of giving her her beast, might one? not be moving forward with her $20 million lawsuit against the singer. According to the document, she's getting rid of her attorney. Mm. Via TMZ, it says Laura Helm's attorney, Lisa West, filed a motion Thursday to withdraw from the case saying she could no longer effectively represent her client. However, sources connected to Helm tell us what really happened in plain terms is that Helm fired her lawyer. All right, so this is... All right, so So they out here just getting football checks for, like, a... Oh, God. See, and then, like, this is... See, this, man, let me tell you this. This is three questions that I got on this whole thing. One, okay. did Usher actually give her herpes? Two, Dude. did Usher actually ever have sex with her, period? Okay. And three... The big question. Is she just lying? Oh, that, just, no, dude, he actually got herpes. Like, uh, no, I thought he don't. I mean, I don't know. I mean, did he did he get like publicly tested on TV? They need we need to start publicly testing the celebrities and make this a TV show, bro. The show is gonna be called My HIV Test. It's gonna be on VH1. <laughs> so, but it's gonna, it, so it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be a slow mo, an usher walking into the room into the clinic, and then and then it's like bad. You, when you on the phone, hang up and the test come back. <laughs> But like, but like, yo, and then he get tested, and it's like, and they like, cause I remember when like- And I, then they perform after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> Are you gonna perform if your test came back positive? That's gonna be the saddest performance. I'm like, you guys, this, yo, is, this is my last performance. <laughs> yo, test determine which one of your songs you perform. Oh God. So like, if Usher, um, if Usher's test is negative, he get to perform, yeah. And if it's negative, he perform, you got it bad. Oh my God. No, but for real, like, that, oh, what was your three questions? <laughs> oh no. Listen, just listen, go get tested right now. I mean, not Usher, but just anybody. <laughs> If you think you get like, just fix it, Jesus, okay? I dropped the cap <laughs> to my water. Just fucking oh, cap. <laughs> All right, uh, DJ Envy. Here we, here we go. DJ Envy is denying the validity of screenshots floating around the internet depicting an alleged conversation between him and an unnamed woman about anal pleasure. Who not his wife. In the conversation, the alleged DJ Envy tells the woman to lick my ass and gets excited at the prospect of the woman using her toy near his anus. Yo, yo. So here, here go, here goes right here. We got the video, the the interview from them. Wait, they got an interview. Yeah. So Wait, were he talking about it? Yeah. Him, Is it on Breakfast Club? Yeah, him, Charlemagne, and uh, uh, Angelus. Yeah. Angela Yee. Yeah. yeah. Were they like talking about it? Yeah. I'm sure that he talking about it somewhere. 
But like, basically, you see these shots on uh, on the Snapchat. But the thing is, like, could this really be anybody's Snapchat? Like, could this be like anybody's like DJ Envy? Yeah, like yeah, just like just type in DJ Envy. Like, so pretty much, uh, you don't want to be on the receiving end of this the dildo, dildo or yeah. the joke, I guess, or being the donkey because uh, Envy put out there. He said, uh, "I don't know where these messages came from." He said, "Whoever has been chasing all the reputable blogs." And nobody posted it, and I guess they found one that has. So I don't know. I th- do you think he's salty? Do you, one, do you? Well, I got three questions for this. Okay. One, do you Oof. think it's true? Uh. Two, if it is true, why didn't the lady person come out like you know as a, a named person? Right. And then three. Oh, well, she did. They got a picture and stuff. They, do, they got a picture, but no name. I don't know. Anyway. No, the, the girl, whoever it was. Oh, and then three, really envy. How do you even act? Cause, cause then I'm thinking, I'm looking at it. I'm like, man, like anybody can make a Snapchat page, and then you ain't see the actual handle. You just seen like, oh, DJ Envy, and you can make your name anything on Snapchat. So uh, he's married, right? So he in the category, of, you know. The other he's not a rapper. Wait, he's talking about like the rapper. He, he, he had the, like a big DJ. So like, all right. and he got like six kids, four, five kids. Just cause, and he is he like Hispanic. He, that, that may be why he got like a lot of kids in it. That's right. It's bad if people be having a lot of kids. I don't know how they be fitting them in those like little cars. They be having like the little Toyotas, like the they little Toyota Camrys, and there'd be like eight of them in there. <laughs> they all get where they need to be going. On time too. Right. Work hard. Anyway. This is fucking racist. <laughs> <laughs> So we got we about to switch up this question of the day. Yeah. So we gonna ask the people first, and then we gonna hear the receiving ends after. Okay. But I want us to put in our input first. Right. So question of the day: mm-hmm. Do you think social media messes up relationships, and why? On either end. Oh, just oh, just a, a nod. Well, it's, okay. it's a tricky situation now, right? It, okay. So with social media. Um, it's like fishing, right? So you make a post, you know, it'd be like some gray sweatpants, your hand up and your abs flexing with a little bit of oil hitting your body. I don't have abs. Okay. So Are you then, talking about, oh, like, pretend I do. Yeah. Hey, so I got on gray sweatpants, <laughs> uh, got the print pop, and, you know, and I got my abs the showing. Pop. <laughs> the print pop. Okay, so continue. No, I'm, so, I'm liking the way I'm imagining myself. So it's a lot of people in the world, or just in your circle, social media, depending on your following, that see that. And it could be dangerous because a lot of people are like, oh, I want that. Boom. And then now you got somebody in your DM. Okay. So I got to get abs to get people in my DM. No, you just, you just got to like take nice pictures. I you think. Know, have, have like lyric quotes. <laughs> like, you know. I think social media is like guns. Like, guns don't kill people. But people that misuse guns all the time always be killing people. All you gotta do is misuse it once. I mean, but all right, so then that's like killing people. But yeah. like, all right, so like, so that means some relationship should be killed. And that, and then social media help kill that person. It's yeah, like, a, it's just, social media is more like bombs instead of guns. Like, like, like bombs, wait, bombs kill people. Yeah, wait, a lot of right, people. Well, well no, because you, you gotta drop them right now. Like, you gotta. <laughs> <laughs> you have to still like First, drop a bomb. So like shot, the people boom. who drop the bomb kill the people. You so like the bomb on me. Dun, 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 baby. But anyway, but like dropping the bomb on people is like dropping like social media. Like it's yeah. it's, it's not isn't it by itself is not the I mean, problem, but like the person is. I think just how you use it because if you like I don't know if you look single or act single, they're gonna treat you single. But if you really like let it allow to mess up the relationship. I don't hmm. know. All right. I mean, because it's dangerous, because there's a lot of single, lonely people on there that makes posts and pictures, like, very desperately. Or it'd be, like, be a girl bent over on the sink, like, oh, I got a new toothbrush. Those <laughs> sodos be fire. <laughs> so, oh, my God. <laughs> Bro. Just, or when a girl I'm be like, like, Colgate don't do that to people. <laughs> like, just stop. Hey, y'all, look at this new floss I got. I'll be like, that is some nice. I'll be like, nice curtains. <laughs> really nice curtains. Yeah, okay. But anyway, what do you think? Do you think social media kills relationships? Leave us a comment below. Yes. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on those push notifications, and make sure you follow us at The Q Brand. Yeah. And follow us, respectively, at Willie B Music. And it'll like Will. 
and and drop your uh your I'm story trying, below. I'm trying to say we out. And drop your story below. If you lost a relationship due to social media, drop it below. Let us know. Let us drop know. it below. Oh, I like that. Let's keep that for you. I like. I, let us know. Drop it below. Oh, <laughs> we out.